Hey, my name is Wes Delaney, and I am uh, a pharmacist by trade. And uh, this is this subject is very important to me, um, and cherished mom is important to me uh, because uh, mainly because of what our family went through. Uh, my wife, after our second child, suffered from postpartum psychosis, and um, you know, the prior to our um, two children. We received very little education, some education on postpartum depression, um, but no really other education on any type of er um, other perinatal uh, mood disorders, definitely not postpartum psychosis. And so the day that it happened, it was it was very bizarre behavior and um, very hyper-religious behavior. And then um, in the afternoon, luckily, I was home and I found her and, and she was um, basically out of kind of reality of a, a normal mind reality, very pale. And um, we ended up um, taking her to the emergency room or actually the ambulance took her to the emergency room where she uh, stayed three nights or uh, stayed three days in the ER holding um, psych psych ward and then stayed um, another almost two weeks at the psych ward in the hospital. Um, so during that period, it was, it was a um, very, very difficult time. Um, luckily, um, I had family and friends around. Um, you know, my family and her family both pitched in to help with the kids um, because it was a very difficult time. Um, she was, she was uh, restrained to the, or constrained to the um, psych ward and I could only see her for 30 minute increments during meal time, uh, basically two to three times a day. And so that's when I would try to visit her. Um, you know, first thing in the morning, um, I was still trying to work at that time because um, I'd, I'd pretty much exhausted most of my vacation. Um, and so I would try to run over during lunchtime. And then I, on my way home, I would stop for supper. Um, and so during those visits, um, it was very difficult um, to, to see her in that manner and, and um, to not, the unknown um, would, would she recover completely and um, there was a period of time that she did not know who I was and called me the wrong names and um, you know it was it was just uh, very very bizarre what the mind would do um, very scary time um, but you know I do remember um, some of the first words that one of the nurse practitioners um, told me and it, that kind of comforted me saying you know a year from now you'll look back at this and you'll be able to laugh at it because she will recover um, and so um, even though it it was very hard to see that at that time um, I, I did cling to those words along with my faith and prayer and my family um, but even um, after that two weeks and she was able to come home um, you know we we probably say she was 60 to 70 percent recovered um, because there was still strong paranoia and um, still intrusive thoughts and um, very difficult thoughts so uh, we still had to have somebody there at the house you know probably for the next month um, staying with us to, to help out and help with the kids and she couldn't be alone at, for a long period of time and she still had a you know daily inpatient therapy and um, or intensive outpatient therapy I, I guess what is the term um, so it's still a, a very difficult time um, to, to try to um, you know, kind of help the kids understand what was going on um, luckily they were pretty young so they don't remember a lot of it um, but to, to try to um, try to just to, to be there, support her, um, and to, um, you know, try to provide the most information I could for the providers. Um, you know, one of the, uh, one of the things I also remember from the providers saying, you know, there's going to be, you try to be the focal point of, of her kind of, I guess, anger and, and, uh, um, just uh, confusion um, and, and just kind of try to absorb that and understand that you know she's not in her normal mind right now and she um, you know she's there's gonna be a lot of confusion and so just to be very um, understanding and try to um, you know try to just help her work through a lot of this so this is very important um, to educate and provide resources um, so that other fathers and other husbands don't have to go through that and other families don't have to go through that. Um, also, it's very important to me because we have two daughters and knowing um, that their mother went through it um, increases their chance of also having um, a postpartum or a perinatal mood disorder. And so I want them to be prepared and their husbands to be prepared um, to look at signs and symptoms and to know what to do.